Today, I want to talk about how the portfolio manager, Peter Han, believes that AMC Squeeze is all but guaranteed, and has explained his rationale or his reasons as to why he still holds AMC shares. I also want to talk about what's currently going on in China and how liquidity is being drained from every single corner of the market. So stay tuned and let's make some money. And now I'll dive straight in with the key information. So, Peter Han tweeted a very basic thought about AMC as this new week begins. If you haven't already heard of Peter Han, let's quickly recap his background, his credentials, and his input to the movement. So this is Peter Han's LinkedIn profile. He's CFA qualified, a finance professional, and has held multiple senior positions at investment banks and finance houses. Right now, Peter is currently a fixed income portfolio manager, but has previously held roles as an associate director, a senior dealer, and a senior portfolio manager, and many more before that. Peter has 25 years of financial markets experience and has previously managed over $6 billion in treasury notes. Therefore, Peter Han clearly knows pretty much everything there is to know about the finance world, about Wall Street, and about all their tricks and games. He said if AMC was such a poor stock pick, as investor plays seeking alpha, Motley Fool and more continually tell us, then why haven't institutional investors sold out completely? If AMC was so bad, bankruptcy was guaranteed and a squeeze would never happen, why have institutions continued adding to their positions, averaging down from $40 per share pre-split and above, instead of just selling off before bankruptcy? And also, as has been asked by literally thousands of retail investors, why are these mainstream media outlets so worried about me losing money? And if the shorts were never actually stuck, if this was a way for Robin Hood, Virtue and Citadel to steal our money, why are they not highlighting more buying opportunities, trying to sucker in more retail investors to have their money stolen? And he said the answer is and always has been, the mainstream media and these funds are short and they're trying to create a negative bias against the stock. If they were sure, if they weren't worried, if they could close their positions at any time, surely they'd be trying to sucker in more retail investors to bid the price up so they can short it even more close and gain massive, massive profits. But obviously if they're short and they're stuck and they're desperately trying to escape, they're gonna try and create all the negative bias they possibly can to hope retail investors sell shares. And he said now that AMC's imminent bankruptcy risk is gone, now that AMC is generating positive quarterly earnings, and now that AMC's 2026 bonds can be rolled and pushed back to a later date, Peter Han is actually more confident. And he said, so I'm still in, I haven't sold a single share since before the reverse split. And while it might take a long time to play out, as long as the company can continue improving profitability, it is not a valid short for Wall Street. So Peter is saying as long as AMC can continue improving profitability, the squeeze is all but guaranteed. Maybe not next week, maybe not the week after, but Peter believes that at some point in the future, it is guaranteed. I also wanted to quickly recap our trades from Friday and also bring back the track record so you can see all of our recent trades in the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group. On Friday, we had another brilliant day looking in 36% gains on Upstart, 41% gains on the S&P 500, and a small 10% fast moving momentum news play on MLGO. As you can see, the team also capitalized with Killer from above and TMI's days locking in both around 30% on Upstart. You can also see that on Thursday, we had an 80% gainer on SVFD, and Wednesday was obviously that brilliant day for us with MLGO, SERA, and another upstart call option. You'll also see on the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group website, I've just introduced another tier for lifetime access. Instead of paying $60 per month, you can now pay a one-time fee of $500 for lifetime access to the group. And of course, always remember, we still have that 100% guaranteed refund policy if you don't make a single profitable trade in 30 days. Sojka also tweeted saying, look at this and look at how panicked these shorts actually are. Charles Gasparino is now commenting on popcorn purchases to discourage fundamental growth and profitability. So Stone Tweet is saying, look what I imported to Germany from my trip to Chicago last week. And he's gone and bought some AMC Perfectly Popcorn. Charles replied saying, the AMC apes love making Adam Aaron richer while they get poorer. 
trying to discourage retail investors from going to AMC cinemas and from buying AMC popcorn. Charles Gasparino is desperate for AMC to become re-loss making. Because as long as AMC continues becoming profitable, just like Tesla, just like Booking.com, and just like many successful companies that have been shorted in the past, the squeeze will happen, guaranteed. And as Soshka pointed out, these shorts are really, really panicked. And I think Ken Griffin's face in this photo explains the perfect amount of panic that Ken is currently feeling. On the left is a photo of Ken Griffin a few years ago. Whereas on the right, we don't just have Ken Griffin, we've got Coke Rat Griffin on a night out in Miami. Ken Griffin is looking like not only is he potentially under the influence of something, but he's also under the influence of stress. And that photo to me looks like it's not just some stress, but a significant amount of stress. And as this post adds, it says we're rich already, it's just our bank accounts haven't yet updated. Now, I also wanted to talk about what's currently going on in China, how massive margin calls are happening in China right now, and how liquidity is being drained from every corner of the market. You may not already know, but the Chinese Stock Exchange, or the Hang Seng Index, is currently down around 28.5% year to date. This means the Chinese stock market is currently experiencing a fully-fledged stock market crash, so far with no bottom in sight. As just Dario tweeted, he said it's no mystery anymore and stock margin loans are being liquidated and brokerages are on the ropes experiencing margin calls on a daily basis. This Chinese stock market crash was originally triggered a few years ago by Chinese property companies that were and are still struggling. That's obviously had a massive knock-on effect on the economy and a massive knock-on effect on the Chinese stock market. And as I literally have always said, this stock market crash is currently causing margin loans to be liquidated and it's causing brokerages to be on the ropes. This is also exactly what we can expect in the US. As I said, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not next week, but when the US market crashes, margin loan liquidations and risky brokerages on the ropes is guaranteed. And as I said, it's not just China that's struggling, it's not just liquidity being pinched from China, it's also happening in the crypto markets too. Barchart tweeted the massive Bitcoin dump happening right now. Overnight, Bitcoin experienced pretty much a flash crash from $44,000 per Bitcoin to at some points around $40,000. So it seems not only the shorts trying to pinch liquidity from China, but they're also trying to pinch liquidity from crypto too. And again, we're also seeing liquidity disappearing out of that reverse repo operation. You may remember at some point reverse repos were near $2.5 trillion per day. But since then, these reverse repos have declined further and further and further to around just $800 billion. These banks and these institutions have less and less money to store a lodge with the Fed because time is running out. But guys, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, guys, be sure to ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.